Hi, I'm Jody with Wellspring Solutions and I am here in Summerfield at Yoga Lane Studios and we're so excited to partner with Elaine Thomas of Yoga Lane during our Thrive program. Elaine is going to be leading some relaxing yoga demonstrations to offer you the opportunity for self-care and to promote stress relief and we just hope you enjoy this experience. Thank you for joining us. Hi, I'm Elaine Thomas with Yoga Lane Summerfield. In today's short beginner friendly yoga class, we'll be using a chair for seated and standing poses. So get your chair ready and let's get started. Begin seated with hands at heart center. Try to focus just on your yoga mat with not letting your mind wander too far away. Starting with the neck a little bit, we're just gonna drop the chin down to the chest and lift the head, tipping the head back, back and forth a couple times, just warming up a little bit. I'm gonna move over next to the shoulder. So take a breath in and roll the head toward one side and take a breath out, chin comes back down to the chest. Just roll over to the other side. Just start to move with your own pace, breathing in as you roll over to one side and breathing out as the chin comes back down to center. Trying to breathe with the lips closed if you can. We're gonna hold here for a little bit of a longer stretch. Head is heavy, eyes can be open or closed. If you'd like a little extra weight, you can take the, head, uh, the hand up on top of the head, just above the ear, just to help you into a little deeper stretch. Breath is full and steady. And roll over to the middle and then take yourself to the other side. So head is heavy. Breath is nice and easy. Try to relieve tension along the side of the neck. A little extra weight if you like it by pressing your hand just above the ear. Nice full breath in. Full breath out as you release chin back down to the chest. And we're just gonna lift the shoulders up and breathe out through the mouth. And then round the back. Chin comes back down to the chest. Knees are um, hips distance apart. We're just gonna exhale, rounding the back, reaching toward the front of the knees, and then inhale, heart comes forward and up, head tips back. So just moving between these two poses, coming forward into like a little back bend, and then exhaling, closing down. I'm gonna stay here for a longer back bend here. Shoulder blades are coming close together in the back. Gaze is up, reaching toward the sides of the chair if that's comfortable. Working with your means as always, so just doing what you can. One more closing down, and you're just going to try to let the head be really heavy. Maybe reach the hands down toward the floor if that's comfortable. Breathing into the back body, trying to release tension with every exhale. Nice full breath in, reaching the arms up overhead. We're gonna come into a side stretch next. So holding onto the side of the chair for stability, we're gonna switch it around. Exhale as you reach toward the side, inhale as you come to center. Gaze is up as you reach over, if that's okay with your neck, or head can stay at neutral. Gonna stay here for a little bit of a longer stretch here. Nice long reach through the fingertips. Then you're gonna start to reach toward the top corner of your mat, coming into the back body, and then shifting again, coming into the front body. So arm drops by a back beside you, just nice and easy. Just a little warm up for the shoulder. So this is your counter pose, just a kind of a rag doll pose. Head is heavy, shoulders are relaxed. Gonna stretch the other way. So nice full breath in, and then we're gonna shift just a little bit. So you're gonna shift that hand toward the top corner of the mat, coming into the back, a little stretch for the back, 
and then a little stretch for the front. So letting the arm drop gently back, just opening along the shoulder. And then again, kind of resetting, just rolling the shoulders forward and back. Noticing where you are in the practice so far. Just taking a moment to check in. Hopefully you're already feeling a little warmer. No place to go yet, no place to be, just working within our means, trying to focus just on the breath. We're going to work on some standing poses next. So coming into mountain pose right behind the chair. Chair is here for stability. Again, shoulders are down away from the ears. You're practicing great posture here. So eyes can be open or closed depending on how your balance is feeling. We're going to just step back with the right leg and you're going to bend the left knee in the front. So holding on to the chair for stability, you're going to set uh, the back heel back. This is warrior one pose. So you're trying to work within your means. You're building some heat here, trying to find a good grounded base. So you're not shifting too far forward, too far back, too far left or right. And then you're going to change the foot position in the back. You're going to step the back foot up and all 10 toes are facing the same direction. Knees are straight, hinging from the hips, bringing yourself slightly forward and down. Just coming into a stretch for both legs here. The front leg is getting a stretch along the uh, hamstring in the back and the back leg is getting a stretch along the calf and ankle. Just gonna shake it out here a little bit and um, take a second to just beat the drum. So just let the hands swing from side to side. Fists just fall wherever they do along the rib cage. Just a nice relaxing counter pose, we'll call it. So fix your hair and your shirt. <laughs> and we're gonna try that same posture on the other side. So we're gonna start with a warrior one pose. So the front knee is bent. You can see that big toe out front um, that just protects the knee from trekking too far forward. The back heel is down. You can raise one arm or both arms or keep both hands down on the chair for stability. So you're looking for that great posture. You're building some strength here, building some heat, trying to breathe with the lips closed as best you can. And we're gonna transition here from warrior one to pyramid pose. And so that means all 10 toes are facing the same direction and now both knees are straight. So you have a pretty close stance with the feet, shifting slightly forward and down, hinging from the hips, not the waist, long spine, stay in the pose, nice full breath in, full breath out. And then coming back up to easy standing, just shake it out again, beat the drum, let the shoulders be nice and relaxed. Arms are like spaghetti noodles, just kind of resetting yourself. Next pose is going to be just a uh, straddle fold. So you're holding on to the back of the chair, but you're going to widen your feet up toward the edges of the mat, reaching through the fingertips all the way down through the hips. So the head can come down toward the floor if that's comfortable for you, or the head can stay up a little bit higher. If your head feels swimmy, always keep your head above the heart. So comfortably uncomfortable is okay, but never we, we never want any pain in yoga. Do no harm, that starts with you. So just do the best you can, work within your means. We're gonna try a little balance here. So holding onto the top of the chair, see if you can reach one of your legs well back behind you. This is called warrior three pose. So finding a focal point, something that's not moving will help you into this pose. Even if the toes on the, on the um, leg that's floating back, maybe keeping the toes down is fine. You don't have to jam yourself into your best balance. Balance is something that improves with practice, but it does change from day to day. So if you're really balanced today, congratulations, tomorrow will be different. And it is also different side to side. So that's our counter pose, just like a little straddle forward fold. We're going to try to balance on the other leg. So whichever side you didn't do, every muscle's tight on that standing leg, taking the other foot back, maybe a little gentle lift. 
working toward letting the standing leg be nice and strong so every muscle is working to hold you steady. Finding something to focus on will help you with this pose. Any, any balance pose is really uh, concentration. That's what we're working on. Along with just strengthening all those muscles along the feet and the ankles. So reset here, find your best posture, that's a mountain. And congratulations, we're sitting right back down. So we're gonna to turn to the side. This is gonna be a warrior variation. So for this pose, I want you to be facing one direction, holding onto the back of the chair for stability. And you're gonna to work toward that front leg walking back so that the knee is lined up with the hip in the front. The foot is walking back away from you. If you feel any pain in the knee or the hip, um, come out of the pose. Just try to know where those boundaries are. You're looking for comfortably uncomfortable, but if you've pushed yourself beyond that, you've stopped doing yoga and you will know by your breath. So if you start to hold your breath, you know you've pushed yourself beyond the pose. Lifting the arms is just an option. You can have the hands down for stability's sake. Otherwise, you're trying to get a nice long chain from the fingertips all the way down through the shoulders and hips. Breath is nice and full and steady. So that should give you a stretch along the fronts of the thighs. Coming to seated mountain pose here, just as a little counter pose. Now we're gonna come into spinal twist here. So I want you to start to shift around to one side. Again, using the back of the chair for stability. The hand is easy touching beside the knee. And maybe you can take a peek back behind you, maybe not. It's okay either way. Just reminding the spine that it goes more than just forward. So just kind of waking up the nervous system, um, the electrical system, ringing it out a little bit. Just a really good way to release some energy here. Nice and full breath. Now we're ready to transition here, just relaxing the shoulders. We're gonna have a little easy, comfortable breath here. So eyes are closed. We're gonna have a nice, easy breath here. So the breath starts to be normal. So if you don't like to breathe with your lips closed, just breathe in a way that feels most comfortable. So with the eyes closed, I want you to try to notice every little sound you're hearing in the room that you're in and then come back to an easy breath. Notice any sound you're picking up outside of this room. And then come back to that easy, natural breath. Noticing any thoughts that are coming up without judgment. Just give yourself a break here. Breathing in everything you need and letting go of anything you don't. We're gonna finish the class here with a little counting breath. So for this, I want you to inhale and just mentally count to yourself 21. Counting to yourself until you get all the way down to one.
hands come to the heart. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like more information, you can find my website at yogalane.com or on Facebook, Yoga Lane Summerfield Square. Again, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this experience, that you found it relaxing and refreshing. This class is part of a series, so please check back on our website for more opportunities for you to do some yoga and to thrive. For more opportunities to thrive, please go ahead and check out our website.